now turn our attention to the men. This is the race for third place. Travis Smith at the top of the track from Canada against Jason Niblett. Team Joko, the Australian, at the bottom of the track. Normally in sprint racing, we see the best of three, but here at the Perth International Grand Prix, it's sudden death, it's straight out. As we look to see, they come through to get the bell this time round. It's Niblett that's at the front. He's a former junior world champion. He's had slow progress up through the senior ranks, but he's starting to find his feet now. Smith is trying to close in on Niblett. Niblett is still just checking underneath the arms. He's waiting to feel the presence of Smith, but I think he might be a long time waiting because he's not going to get there as Niblett goes out the winner to claim third place in the men's sprint. Team Jaco have got third secured. They'll also have first and second. Team Jaco, Scott Sunderland at the bottom of the track and his teammate Shane Perkins at the top of the track. You'll see that Sunderland's got the black armband on the left sleeve. He's then passed away a week ago. He's got a motion on his side to try and force him through to a victory. He'll also have the local crowd as he is from Western Australia. The Victorian Perkins will be trying to upset the apple cart. Perkins is the more pure sprinter of the two of them. Sunderland was a former junior world champion in the one kilometre time trial, whereas Perkins won his junior world title in the sprint. And they're both looking to try and get the position of being Australia's number one. The cat and mouse is being played out as they head down the back straight. Perkins is going up towards the top of the banking. He's backing off. It's a similar sort of move to what we saw from Carly McCulloch. Sunderland is trying to make it as quick as possible and as long as possible because Perkins has such an explosive jump. Sunderland still checking over the shoulder. Perkins takes him convincingly down the back straight. You can see the bow of the head from Sunderland. He surrenders. Perkins will come through and he'll take out the win. Teammates in training, though, rivals on the track. Perkins first, Sunderland second. Scotty's going well. Um, obviously, you know, home crowd um, getting a bit more pumped. And, you know, but I love coming to race in Perth. Uh, great atmosphere here and great track. And, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good race.